Shabbat Shalom everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the awesome Dafyomi just before Erev Shabbat, Parashat Devarim. We are on Samach Chet today, that's page 68 of Mesechet Gitin, naturally. Very interesting, we're going to learn a lot of Agadata in today's page. King Solomon, Shlomo HaMelech, is very much featured, the wisest of all men of all time described. And with regards to using a Pasuk from the book of Kohelet, naturally, which we read on the festival of Sukkot. Very, very interesting, we learn about the, the Bet HaMikdash, the the Bet HaMikdash was not even, it was worth even more than trillions and trillions of dollars. It was, you couldn't put a price on the value of the Bet HaMikdash, made up of the more, most grandiose materials possible, the most invaluable materials possible, and it was a divine, it was divinely uh, the first Bet HaMikdash and second Bet HaMikdash. And King Solomon was very much part of the first Bet HaMikdash, the first temple era. So what was going on over here, friends? One thing that was crucial in the building of the temple of the Bet HaMikdash, which might, you might seem to think that it was only worth maybe uh, not even a penny or anything else, was a specific worm called the Shamir worm. Now what is this friends? Why was a small worm needed in order of building the Bet HaMikdash? And we know that the, the Bet HaMikdash was built of the most incredible stones possible, but these stones needed to be cut. And there was a specific worm called the Shamir that was able to cut to hew into the stones naturally. And we learn in today's Talmud about the process that Shlomo HaMelech, King Solomon, had to go through in order to find this worm. He had to even involve demons, potentially. The demons had to find, uh, he appointed people to find the demons. And those demons had to end up finding this specific worm, finding out where it's located, had to go through the birds and different roosters and everything else, and eventually found the Shamir stone which was needed but it just shows in life a uh, message within regards to this you know we've got a building which is even worth more than trillions of dollars it's infinite the value of it it's the uh, Bet HaMikdash it's where the Shekhinah resided in and one thing that was crucial was just a small worm over here it was a small worm that was actually crucial in the building of the Bet HaMikdash and not just that you know in life we see sometimes that one could be a multi multi billionaire or whatever it is and it's the smallest thing that can disrupt a person's life even if he's a multi multi trillionaire you no money can uh, buy something sometimes things can be invaluable to a specific person and even all the money in the world cannot buy it even uh, you can't have the most uh, you can't give millions of dollars of offer in order to buy that thing and that thing over here was Shamir it was one small thing so we Hashem is maybe teaching us a lesson here that even the smallest thing is crucial in our lives and that just shows us a moral lesson that every small detail is very important in our lives how every small detail we need to try and perfect in every single way one could say that uh, I'm doing so many different fantastic things so many so many different good things over here or whatever it might be but but no at the end of the day we've got to look at every specific detail in our life every single small thing we've got to think of the small things how we can improve ourselves how we can help other people it could be something which has seemed meaningless to us could be something huge for someone else is that person missing that something small can we give them that small greeting to help them improve their day is there that small thing we can do to someone else and over here it was a small worm it was a shamir worm which was one of the things which was created at the briato olam according to some opinions it was uh, told over it was that shamir worm that small worm that was able that was a key catalyst in building the first Bet Hamikdash over here, which King Solomon had to need, and in fact, King Solomon, the wisest of all man, who had probably was busy the whole time, he had to actually get in touch with the demons at the time to actually trace this specific worm out. A very, very interesting insight. I would very much recommend everyone to look into the dub in detail today. Samachet of Mesachet Gitin, and I'll leave you with a view of the fantastic hills here in Israel, Eretz Hakodesh, the best country in the world. You won't get this in Canada, Australia. England, New Zealand, wherever you guys are living in. Look at the, the view over here, absolutely incredible. Erev Shabbat Parshat Devarim and Shabbat Shalom. And please listen to the previous videos also. And I would like to dedicate this Lilun Yishmat, Ma'ahuva Bat Chiriah Chaya. Okay, have a great day. Bye.